Oh yeah! Welcome back guys, this is Tauntaun777, and yes, you do see Indiana Jones looking at the idol mysteriously, having his hand in his chin there, very mysterious. Anyways, uh, another Photoshop tutorial, again, this is for my homework, this is actually part of an exam I have to do. I was lazy and waited till the last minute, I know, it's amazing. So I figured while I'm doing this I could show you guys what I have to do. So, anyways, we have this image here of Indiana Jones. We have an image of our school mascot. That is very creepy. That is beyond creepy. That is. That, that is disturbing. And then we got the sheet of paper, and we have a new font in here. Um, I can show you all that later and how to download new fonts and things like that. But our first step... No, Safari, shut up. Dang it. Wrong button. I like Safari. Okay, we have side commentary thanks to my friend Brian Brookins. He is here visiting me uh, to, I don't know, either to help me out with my new iPhone or to just bug the crap out of me. We haven't decided what that is yet. Okay, it's both. That's what it is. It is both. So step one, use the polygon lasso tool to cut out the mode mule bobblehead. Unhide the layer by clicking the square next to it to the layer name. Scale them down and use a free transform tool. I'll fit over the golden idol. Don't forget to remove the bit between his legs. Okay, so we have to cut out mow the mule. So we have to come in here, open this up, and I believe he's bigger than what, what they're saying he is. Well, we want this one, Command T. Yeah, he is. So we gotta, I selected the thing, pressed Command T, or you go up to File, Free Transform, go up here to these corners again, press and hold Shift, and just drag it down until he's like within there. And then we scale him back up so he's within the image a bit there. Okay, press enter to uh, justify the uh, arrangements. I'm going to double check my instructions here. Don't forget to remove the bit between his legs. Okay, so the area between his legs. Excuse me. I'm guessing what we're wanting to do. Let's get back into Photoshop. So what he's wanting me to do is to use the lasso tool, which is this thing right here. I believe he said the polygon lasso tool. Double checking again my instructions because this has to be done properly. Yes, the polygon lasso tool. Because if it's not done properly, then I have a bad grade. And if I have a bad grade, then I'll never get into graduate school. And if I don't get into graduate school, I won't get into PhD school. And if I don't do that, then we can't live in a hobbit hole in New Zealand, Brian. I know. We're going to be in debt in that hobbit hole if we go to PhD <laughs> school. Be in debt enough to buy me a new house. That is also true. We will be in debt like heck. I don't know why he thinks it's, he's also going to be in debt. Because he's going to have his own plan and degrees. So what we're going to do here, we have the lasso tool. We're going to start here at the bottom. Because I'm hoping that's going to be the easiest. We just simply left click on it. And we begin just, you know, setting points just around um, the object. So I'm going to try and be as delicate as I can with this. I'll probably do some uh, time lapse. Because all it is is just moving your cursor with that line and trying to make sure that it's uh, selecting everything. So you guys just get to watch that for the next whatever, how long this uh, time lapse is going to be. Yeah. Okay, guys, yeah, we're getting to the end of this. Ooh, I got an email. I got something. Something amazing. So, yeah, this takes one heck of a long time to just get around and everything with this polygon tool. Are there other tools that can do this? Yes. Yes, there are. But 
yeah, much faster, but right now this is what the instructor wants. So there we completed it, and now Mo is selected. Um, oh, I can't move that around. So what we want to do now, we have Mo selected, and we want to get rid of this ugly background that has the crazy bobblehead crap. So what we can do is right click in the middle where he is and press select inverse. It'll select everything outside of him and then we press delete. And then the whole background's uh, deleted. And now, now, yeah. But as you can see, some here, you got some white marks and whatnot. I'll touch up on that here in a minute. But we got to get rid of this stuff in between his legs there. And in order, I'm not going to go polygon tool on that again. That's going to drive me postal. What we're going to do, do instead is use the quick selection tool. I'm going to zoom in. I'm using my scroll wheel. You could go press Z and uh, zoom in that way. Uh, to, the way to change it to your scroll wheel is to go up here to File, no, Photoshop, Preferences, Interface, and uh, where to go? Okay, obviously that's not where it was. Okay, you go to General, my bad. Zoom in with scroll wheel. You check that and you'll be good. Anyways, back to what I was doing. Select this area here. So most of it's pretty much selected there. Now we just gotta, you know, try and do some detail work on that. Should be fine. Then we press delete again. Now that's all gone. And press command D to deselect everything. And there's there's several things of junk. Now I'm gonna go over here to the eraser tool and we're just gonna have just gonna have to erase it. I mean there's there's nothing else really that that we can do. So erase it there. And now you're just gonna watch me do some detail erasing work. So yeah, another speed run. Fun stuff, fun stuff. I'm gonna have to change my brush. I don't even know if I can, can I can I can make it smaller, but I'm wanting a different freaking all my sorted brushes. Okay. Nope, that's not what I want. Um basic brushes. Okay, I mean install it and see what happens. It's free, right? Yeah, it's free. <laughs> Good. I'd be I just know if you want to be install stuff without you looking at it or whatever, but... I'll trust your judgment if it blows up, you just owe me a phone. <laughs> you know. Where are my freaking brushes? Okay, that's just disgusting. No. Oh, I want it in brush mode. What am I doing? Maybe now I'll get the dang it, stop it. I want that. Ugh. Oh man, you going crazy. Go back to my basic brushes. There we go. Oh no! There went his information. <clears throat> Ow! I can't. Dude, man, why are you sleeping weird? Okay. No, it's something different. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll type that sucker in. Nope, wrong, wrong letter. There you go. Should be downloading now. Oh no! Whoop, there it is. Dang it, that didn't erase right. Or decrease. I do. Is that yeah, good? With the app, would you have with your original little up and down numbers, mm -hmm. it goes up by like 10% of 100. Oh, okay. With this little app, it goes up and down by 
essentially a percent. Essentially a percent. Okay, okay. <laughs> Makes me feel so much better. Okay, guys, that took a little bit. I know his ears are a bit jacked up there. I can fine-tune that later. Or not. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. So, we got all that done. What's the next step again? Uh, to roughly fit over the golden idol. So, we gotta get him to fit a little bit over that golden idol. Um... I mean, I think he pretty much does. So, command T again to free transform this sucker. So, we want to come up a little bit, and then we're going to shift hold, drag him down. Ah, oh, dang it, I didn't want to rotate. Uh, we're going to press enter to apply, and then we're going to move him a bit to right about there. And then after we do that, come back over to the instructions, use the image of the vintage paper and a new layer on top of everything else, set the blending mode to screen and opacity at 40%. So what's that gonna do? Oh, hold on. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry about that, guys. Again, Ryan Brookins is here to help me with my new iPhone. So this is the layer he's talking about. We're gonna select it. We'll come up here to this blend mode. We're gonna select screen. As you can see, there it is. That's nice. The opacity will be at 40%. So, I think that, yep, that changes that layer to 40%. We're double checking the instructions. Top of everything else, at the blending mode screen opacity. Write your first and last name in Adventure Regular 60 point K. Color of yellow that has an RGB. We'll get to the RGB in a minute here. We're just going to get the uh, font typed up. Uh, and then let's see here. So I'm going to press, I'm going to come over here to the type tool. As soon as it pops up, I'm going to drag it here at the bottom a bit. And then I got to type in my name, Cordell. Dang it. I think I spelled my name wrong. I know I can't see it because it's gone too far. I'm going to press command A to select it all. We want this down to 60 point font. And then we want it to be adventure where is it it's right it's some here it is adventure there we go so amazing and then we want to change the uh, color of it and we want to use the rgb color coding so i don't here we here we go i'm gonna i don't know if i can hold on. We're, we're gonna try and adjust the screen so i can see Okay, this is not working to the way I wanted it to. Okay. So, there's the RGB value colors there. What we're going to do is we're going to have the, those selected. Come over here. Select the uh, color there for the font. Come over here to the RGB part. So, the first number is going to be 231. Second one is going to be 194. And then the third one is going to be 34. Okay, so that's the kind of yellow that we want, and it uh, should look pretty daggum good. And center it, and center it on what was previously the black bar at the bottom of the page. Are we supposed to be? Okay. So we're gonna move it to here where the black bar was at the bottom of the screen. So that's selected. Oh my goodness. Resize the image. It's decent. That's what the end thing was supposed to be, quality over quantity. You want a jingle, that's what you want. I want a jingle. Da 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 da! Yeah. I'm loving it. Something. <laughs> Something that's recognizable every time before you even start your entire speech about your company that says, this is my jingle, this is my sound, this is my trademark sound. Yeah, you see? See, it could be better. I just need, I didn't... I waited till the last minute to do this. So, it didn't come out as best as I did. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I was I was listening to my commercial. 
that I created in class. I may publish that. I don't know. I'm not too happy with it, but, you know, everybody else seems to think it's God's gift to Earth or something. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to resize the image here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to image and then image. We want, we want, we're going to do a, yeah, we're going to have to be image size. And we're going to change it from 1280 to 720 to 640. We don't want these locked. Unlock. Oh, why is that 649? I want it at 640. There we go. 640 by 360. We press OK. That's going to shrink this down to how big that is. And then we want to save the file as a PNG. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a command... We can go up here to File, um, Save As, and then it's saying all this other darn stuff, but with CS6 and everything else, this is with an older version, I'm pretty sure. I can double check to see what he, if, because the way he showed us, we were able to do it a different way. Save for the web. Okay, this is what he's wanting us to do, but I don't think it's going to do that much. So we come up here, we do PNG8, um, naming your file. Okay, la da 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 da. Okay. So we're going to keep it like that. PNG selected diffuse. We're not going to mess with any of this. And then we're going to press save. We're going to save it as. Um, does it say first and last name? Or last name first? There we go. Always last name, first name. Ballard Cordell. Awkward, but it works. So we're going to do the desktop, make it the PNG, and then press save. And that should have saved it. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it with how we were supposed to do this exam. Um, it's it's kind of interesting. It's not exactly what I thought we were going to do. Um, I, that's not part of the assignment. He didn't say anything about taking out the other statue. I guess. Pretty much. That's essentially what we did. Uh, but... Uh, I'm not going to mess with this anymore. This is what the professor wanted. I kind of showed you guys some blending modes that we could do with this stuff. Uh, we could also, let's see, if... I don't want... I don't want... Hang on, I want to select the layer one. If we do overlay... Where'd it go? It, it was here, I swear. I swear it was. There it is. Nope. Soft light. No. I want overlay. That kind of gives it that kind of tint there. It's okay. But, uh, again, I'm not going to fret about it because this is what the uh, professor wants. And if that's what he wants, then that's what he's going to get. Again, this is an intro-level course. I could definitely do a lot more with this, and I might later on whenever I'm not busy with other stuff. But this is how we do it, guys. And uh, until next time, this is Brian Brookins over here on my bed, and then this is Tauntaun777. And we are out!